Treasurer says WA's record exports are powering the nation. The GST deal set to earn WA $5.6 billion. And the rap song Prince Charming walked onto in Perth today. Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Grappa. In today's Trading Up, we shine a light on arguably the most important man in Australian finance right now, Treasurer Jim Chalmers, who is speaking about the importance of WA at the West's Leadership Matters event in Perth today. Western Australia's interests are inextricably linked to our national interest and to our ability to keep on making the investments and securing the services and delivering the better future that we want for all of our people. And that's why I do recognise and celebrate your central role in our economy and in our budget, and I thank you for it. Chalmers was full of praise for our mining and resources sector, which have fuelled the record $272 billion in exports from WA last year. He described our state as an export powerhouse, batting way above the national average. That's 44.7% of our total exports as a nation. For a state that has around 10% of our total population, that's quite a figure. Uh, as is 18% uh, the contribution you make to national GDP. And the contribution that your resources sector makes to our overall revenue base is critical too. So given we're more than pulling our weight for the nation, does that mean we can keep those GST dollars then? Under a deal agreed by the previous Morrison government, WA gets 70 cents in the dollar for the GST we generate. And the Treasurer was in no mood to reverse the GST deal, at least not just yet. He said it will be reviewed in three years time. Historically, you've done pretty well out of it. But the 10 cents in the dollar that you received under the former government was nowhere near reflective of the contribution that you make. And I'm proud of and I'm committed to the changes that went a long way towards rectifying this. So now that we've got the GST money locked away, what about the $2.4 billion in extra tax the government is grabbing from LNG producers? Well, it seems it could have been a lot higher without consultative conversations with the gas industry. I'm particularly proud of the consultative, cooperative way that we work through the issues with the industry. To reach a proposal that provides policy stability, ensures Australia remains a reliable trade and investment partner, while delivering Australians a fairer share from the sale of their natural resources sooner. But enough of the finance stuff. What was the song Prince Charming walked out to in Perth today? None other than Notorious B.I.G.'s Hypnotise, of course. We didn't see that one coming. I've got to be honest with you, I thought that the high point of today was going to be this front page in the West Australian, uh, but uh, hearing Notorious B.I.G. as the soundtrack when you come up to the stage, Western Australia doesn't do anything by half. It turns out that Chalmers mentioned he liked rap music during a recent TV interview. And finally, Prince Charming was keen to link his budget surplus to the one Mark McGowan delivered last week. Seems the two are good buddies and the Premier was in the room to see his mate tell him how good he was. The Treasurer couldn't resist a friendly jibe about our WA image at McGowan's expense though. Uh, Mark, late at night a few nights ago, uh, I stumbled across a picture of you in the lead up to your own budget. You had a swan draft on the table, you had KFC next to you as well, ready to deliver your surplus. Uh, and I figured it might be the most Western Australian photo on the internet. Uh, but it was also, in, in a, all seriousness, it indicates that uh, Mark is, of course, as well, in the midst of a really busy time, his own post-budget blitz. Uh, and I do really appreciate you being here, Mark. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed our take on the Federal Treasurer today. We'll be back with another special tomorrow on Australia's current favourite mineral. In the meantime, you can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or check out graffa.com for data and insights on today's market news. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan. see you next time.